One of the questions that I get asked very, very often is how do I maintain and wash all my microfibers, everything that I use to wash my car? Uh, now, usually I just put them in this little bucket, not the best method, but it's what I do. Uh, once I kind of have a full load when it's overflowing like this is when I usually do a load of laundry. It's not much, but I don't like to do too much at a time because um, I don't like them sitting for an extended period of time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, show you exactly how I wash my microfibers. Now, one thing to note is you do not want to start washing your towels with normal like terry cotton towels. You want to wash just microfibers um, by itself. If you start putting bath towels in there and everything, it's going to ruin the actual fibers of the microfiber. So just wash microfibers by itself. And waffle weaves, again, whatever you use for your car, um, special towels, make sure you just wash them individually and with no you know, house or bath towels or anything like that. Now, as you can see, I use a special detergent. This is specifically for microfiber. Back in the day, I used to just use um, baby detergent since it's very, very mild um, and it's not too aggressive or anything like that. But PNS has come out with a really, really nice um, option. I used to use Microfiber Restore, but they no longer sell that anymore. And the rag company came out with rags to riches. So really nice product. You get a lot of it. You only have to use about an ounce or so for a full load. This gets a decent amount of washes. It's not too expensive. It's only like 10 bucks and this will last easily like 30 loads. Um, so I usually have this for quite some time. All right, so pretty self-explanatory, but I will go over it quickly. I wash everything on cold and delicate. You don't want to go too crazy with it. Do not wash it on hot because the hot water can actually melt the fibers of the microfiber if it gets too warm. So I wash everything on cold. I usually add a little bit of extra. So I usually probably use about an ounce and a half uh, to make sure it gets really clean. Then the drying aspect is really simple. I just put it on delicate and low heat uh, and then I'm done. But let's go ahead. Let's hop into the laundry room and I'll show you exactly how I do it. All right, so luckily the laundry is right off the garage. So right in there, really simple. Um, so let's go ahead. Just gonna dump everything into the wash. All right, now I'm just going to add an ounce of rags to riches. So I'm just gonna take off the top right here and squeeze it so it fills up. One ounce and you just dump it right in. Then I usually do a little bit more, so I'll probably do about, about that much, a little over half an ounce. Dump it in. All right, so now it's actually time to turn on the washer. So we're gonna close it up, turn it on. Now I'm gonna hit cold. So we got cold temperature, soil level is high, spin speed is high as well, so it dries it nice. Um, and it's on delicate as well. So pretty self-explanatory is already set because I use cold just for um, my microfibers. So I'm just gonna hit start and we're good to go. So once this is done, I'll uh, catch back up with you guys and we'll do the dryer aspect and I'll show you all the settings that I put on the dryer. All right, so the wash is done, really simple. I mean, you guys know how to do laundry, uh, but all we're going to do is just throw them into the dryer over here it's fairly dry already since I did the high speed spin. Um, so we're just going to do a delicate dry. We're not gonna you know, put any crazy heat or anything in it. So let me go ahead, throw these into the dryer and I'll show you the settings. Of So we got everything in the dryer. You do not want to use any fabric sheets or fabric softener or anything like that. You just want to use the rag to riches detergent. That is it. Don't go crazy. If you use any fabric softener or anything like that, it's going to get on the towels. And then when you go to actually use them on the car, it's going to create smearing and it's just a mess. So do not use anything else but that detergent. Like I said, you can also use baby detergent as well, since it's very, very mild and soft. And it's pretty much exactly what rag to riches is. So let's go ahead, let's dry these. Close the little door, turn it on. Now I have a delicate option here, so I'm just gonna delicate. And the heat is very low. Um, in the dryness, I'm gonna put more. So, and I keep it on normal, gentle. It doesn't tend to really do too much. So I leave it on normal, delicate, very, very low heat with as much drying as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. And then it's gonna change the time. It's not gonna take 46 minutes. Since it's not that wet, it'll probably be about 20 minutes or so. Then we can go ahead, fold them up, and put them away. 
All right, so we got the laundry complete. Now we're just gonna fold everything up and put it back into the detailing cabinet. I'll spare you guys, I'll just put a time lapse on folding everything, but I will show you putting them away in the cabinet. I know a lot of you are interested in the setup and kind of what microfibers are for what, because each one is for a different purpose. So, so let me go ahead, fold these up, get everything situated, and then uh, I'll catch back up with you in a little bit when we put them in the detailing cabinet, and we can go over a little bit of which one is each, and then we can wrap this video in. folded up i'm gonna go over real quickly which is each one then we can go over to my detailing cabinet and put everything away i have a bunch of other different microfibers that i don't necessarily use as often these ones over here are my main ones that i use for my wash but yeah let's go over them real quick so obviously first and foremost these are my wash mitts these are the incredit pads uh at least this one is this is the xl i do have a second one up here as well that one's brand new i haven't used that one yet this is an older one that i used i actually use this on my wife's car i tried to separate uh, wash mitt per car just so I have a dedicated wash mitt for each car so I don't mix anything up um, you know I usually use the nicer ones on my car uh, and this one's still pretty nice but same material but it's more of a wash mitt I don't use it as a mitt but yeah so those are the two wash mitts two different types that I use these towels right here uh, these are kind of my wipe down my final wipe down so if I see any water dribbling or um, coming out of the mirrors or something like that i'll go around the car wipe it down um, very 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 soft it's kind of a waffle weave a very high pile uh, absolutely love these um, and i use them very often these are my uh, bean maker towels these things are fantastic i actually use only two of these to dry the entire car while i'm applying bead maker these are actually disposable over time that's why i have so many but i usually buy uh, 10 at a time and then once they kind of lose their um, ability to absorb uh, that is when I usually get rid of them, but they do a fantastic job. Um, absolutely love these things and I usually get a bunch of them. Uh, right here is my glass cleaning towel. This is the best window cleaning towel or glass towel that I have used. It's by the Rag Company. It's a, a waffle weave type of towel. It leaves no streaks. It's very easy. Uh, absolutely love these towels and it does a great job. This towel, uh, I don't really use it for anything specific. It's pretty dirty. It's more of a just kind of an all-purpose towel. Um, so it kind of stays dirty. Uh, I, I used it on the initial cleanup of my truck when I first got it. So that is why there is some staining because it was pretty filthy. I don't use this on the paint anymore. This is more just random. I think I ended up using uh, to dry my hands with. <laughs> so um, I don't use it on the paint anymore. But uh, I have a bunch of these as well. It's kind of an all-purpose towel. Uh, over here, I use these for ceramic coating. Uh, they're very, very thin and low pile. I always find these very, very nice uh, to remove ceramic coating. Um, I have a bunch of them as well in here, uh, different colors, but the same thing. I use this when I got the new carbon grill, ceramic coat it. So usually after one or two uses, um, this was just a small grill, so I didn't use it entirely. Uh, but usually after a full use, I'll dispose of it. These are really cheap. There's only like a dollar or two, um, but I like these a lot for ceramic coating removal. These are my interior towel. I like these a lot. I like using white just so I can see if I'm removing dirt on the steering wheel uh, or if I'm you know, working on leather or anything, a colored leather, just to make sure I'm not pulling up any dye. Uh, that's why I like using white. This is an all-purpose towel. I use it for wiping down the engine bay, the sills and stuff like that. Um, and I have a bunch of these as well, but I only ended up using one of them. I have them right here. Uh, and this little towel right here is my favorite. This is my wheel uh, towel. So if I'm drying a wheel after I cleaned it, make sure I get all the water off and everything. And then I wipe down uh, the tires after I put the tire dressing on. Um, so that is basically what I use in a wash. Obviously, this is multiple washes. This is not just one. Um, and I usually wait until I have a larger load of laundry to actually do a load of laundry. So let's go ahead, put them back in the cabinet, and then uh, we can wrap the video up. This is what my cabinet normally looks like. Uh, all my detailing uh, microfibers up here, all my foam cannons and brushes and everything that I use, wheel brushes and all that. Uh, buckets down there. That's my drying uh, leaf blower that I use to dry off the car. There's my uh, polisher, some uh, oil. I actually got to do an oil change on the STI soon. There's some coolant. Uh, this is my wheel bucket. So pretty straightforward. It's literally just a detailing cabinet, car cabinet. So I don't have anything else in here. Uh, I would love to get another one of these to kind of 
clean all this up, um, but there's not really much room on this side. So I may put it in the corner over there by the vacuum or I don't know. I'm definitely planning on doing more garage mods very, very soon. At least I'm hoping. Uh, I really want to finish off the rest of the sheetrock, clean up the ceiling, make it much nicer, paint everything, do some better lighting in here. But eventually I really want to do some really, really nicely done kind of obsessed garage style garage. You know, I have everything nicely painted and, uh, and get all the crap off the floor and make it really look nice and organized, get rid of these shelves do something really nice and kind of make it my own personal space. Cause right now it's just uh multi-purpose, you know, I got three kids and everything and uh, it's kind of hard to keep it as clean as it is right now. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for you. I know it was not the most exciting video, but a lot of people always ask me how I wash my microfibers, what microfibers I do have. Um, so I figured I'd make a video on exactly how I keep them clean, keep them fresh. Uh, and I'm able to use them for a really long time. Now, all these microfibers are all from Obsessed Garage. A lot of the stuff is from uh, the rag company, so you can get them from either place. But I definitely recommend picking up some nice microfibers because it's really important to have some really nice towels when you're washing a car to keep it swirl-free and looking as nice as I like to keep my car. Um, it's pretty dirty right now, actually. But you guys know how it looks when it is clean. But yeah, that's all I got for you. If you have any questions at all about my... Uh, washing method or the microfiber towels or anything else be sure to ask him in the comments below but in the meantime keep it clean keep it simple i'll catch you guys in the next one